I get a lot of questions about dynamics and I thought it'd be good to do some dynamics videos. So let's start simple. I'm going to start with a very simple uh, constant acceleration problem. And I like to make them have some physical meaning. So let's say there's the earth. Okay, now I hope the earth is really more round than that. That's kind of an egg. We'll assume it's a sphere. And let's say we're, we have a rocket that's going to launch from that point right there. And we want to escape the, the gravitational field of the Earth forever. So I want the rocket to go straight out from the Earth. And I want it to reach uh, escape velocity. The escape velocity for the Earth is 11.2 kilometers per second. And that's equal to 11,200 meters per second. Okay? And let's say that I don't want to smush the astronauts. I want them to be reasonably comfortable. So the acceleration is going to be 3G. So they'll be pushed back into their seats, but not too bad. Okay, that's, that's uh, uh, any reasonable person could be expected to withstand that. So what's 3Gs? That's, let's see, 3 times 9.8, was it 807, something like that, meters per second squared. And that works out to be, let's see, 29.42 meters per second squared. So the question is, given all this stuff, or given that, how long would you have to accelerate at that rate of acceleration to get to escape velocity? So we're going to find time required. That is, how long are you going to be smushed back in your seat at 3 Gs? in order to reach that velocity, because if you reach that velocity, you get to go away from the Earth forever and ever, okay? So find time required. Well, the, the velocity, final velocity, is just AT, is the acceleration times the time. And let's double check that to make sure the units work out. That's going to be meters per second squared times seconds. That's going to come out meters per second. So this is pretty easy. We're, we're going to solve for T. So T equals V over A. And that means 11,200 meters per second divided by 29.42 meters per second squared. Now, are the units going to work out? Meters per second divided by meters per second squared is going to give us seconds. And in seconds, that comes out to 600 and, make sure I get this right here, I'm sorry, 380.7. Point seven seconds, and that equals. Let's see here's where the six came from. Six point four five, pretty much three five, pretty much six point three five minutes. Now three hundred eighty seconds. That doesn't sound like too long a time. I bet you that'd be a long three hundred eighty seconds being pushed back in your seat like that. But there you go. Starting from zero velocity, we can accelerate for a little less than six and a half minutes and reach escape velocity for the Earth. Now there's one little quirk about the way I define this problem. I assume we're going straight out from the Earth. Earth's turning, isn't it? You get an initial velocity, don't you? Next time, let's talk about how to make use of that initial velocity. Now, between now and then, go check a uh, NASA website or something like that and notice two things. Number one, rockets mostly launch from as close to the equator as they can get. In the United States, they launch from Florida, which is, which is far south in the United States. And they mostly launch from west to east. They mostly launch eastward. Why is that? I'll tell you next time.